Man was made to mourn a dirge by Robert Burns, when chill November's surly blast made fields and forests bare. One evening, as I wandered forth along the banks of air, I spied a man whose aged step seemed weary, worn with care. His face was furrowed o'er with years, and hoary was his hair. Young stranger, whither wanderest thou? Began the reverend sage, does thirst or wealth thy step constrain, or youthful pleasures rage? Or haply pressed with cares and woes, too soon thou hast begun to wander forth with me to mourn the miseries of man. The sun that overhangs yon moors, outspreading far and wide, where hundreds labor to support a haughty lordling's pride, I've seen yon weary winter sun twice forty times return, and every time has added proofs that man was made to mourn. O oh, man, while in thy early years how prodigal of time, misspending all thy precious hours, thy glorious youthful prime, Alternate follies take the sway, licentious passions burn, which tenfold force gives nature's law, that man was made to mourn. Look not alone on youthful prime, or manhood's active might. Man then is useful to his kind, supported in his right, but see him on the edge of life with cares and sorrows worn, than age and want, O oh, ill-matched pair, human was made to mourn. A few seem favorites of fate, in pleasure's lap caressed, yet think not all the rich and great are likewise truly blessed. But, O oh, what crowds in every land, all wretched and forlorn, through weary life this lesson learn that man was made to mourn. Many and sharp the numerous ills inwoven without a frame. More pointed still we make ourselves regret remorse and shame. And man whose heaven erected face the smiles of love adorn man's inhumanity to man makes countless thousands mourn see yonder poor or labored wight so abject mean and vile who begs a brother of the earth to give him leave to toil and see his lordly fellow worm the poor petition spurn unmindful though a weeping wife and helpless offspring mourn if I'm designed, yon lordling slave, by nature's law design, why was an independent wish e'er planted in my mind? If not, why am I subject to his cruelty or scorn? Or why has man the will and power to make his fellow mourn? Yet let not this too much, my son, disturb thy youthful breast. This partial view of humankind is surely not the last. The poor, oppressed, honest man had never sure been born, had there not been some recompense to comfort those that mourn. O oh, death, the poor man's dearest friend, the kindness and the best, welcome the hour my aged limbs are laid with thee at rest. The great, the wealthy, fear thy blow, from pomp and pleasure torn. But, oh, a blessed relief for those that weary laden mourn. 